O oh, Salton Tree, hallowed spirit of my line. Through my weakness, the glorious house of Ul has all but disappeared beneath the sands. For want of the strength to raise it up again, it were better that it fall. Forgive me, but I know not what else to do.
trouble yourself so. Your grace is most kind, but it is no trouble to me, rather an honor. If your grace is ready, I shall summon the warrior of light. I am. Everyone looks to be in high spirits. With good cause. A common victory may serve to unite even the most unlikely of allies. You've brought us one step closer to a united Eorzea. Your modesty knows no bounds, Antecedent. Were it not for your efforts, Sir Emmerich would never have become such a steadfast ally. When he convinces his countrymen to rejoin the Alliance, we shall all reap the benefits, military and economic. I tell you, we are on the cusp of a new era of unity and prosperity. Territorial disputes are all that divide us now. But I have faith that we will find an amicable solution in time. And failing that, I'll have my trusty warrior of light box the ears of all concerned. Speaking of whom... He will be joining us shortly. A matter at the quicksand required his attention, but it did not sound serious. Enter. Your Grace, your guest has arrived. Pray come in and take your ease.
is well that the steps of faith held against the Horde. And what of the city proper? We sustained some few losses, but the heart of our nation yet beats with vigor. I am not certain I could say the same had we not received your most generous aid. An attack on Ishgard is an attack on the realm. We stand together or fall divided. Such noble words, after the fact. I had hoped to speak in the presence of Her Grace, but it seems she has been delayed. That being the case, now would seem as good a time as any. Honored friends, pray allow me to convey Ishgard's warmest gratitude for your part in the defense of our lands. It is upon the success of this very alliance that my recommendation to throw open the gates of judgment shall be founded. With the blessing of the Archbishop, it is my hope that Ishgard will soon be reunited with her long-estranged sister nations, and that Eorzea shall once more be as one. Very well. Is Artemis? Nothing to worry about. I shall return anon. Wished a word, Yu Yu Hase? You may go. Your Grace. I must be curious as to the reason for this private audience. The matter I would discuss, however, will soon make apparent the need for discretion. I intend to abdicate the throne and dissolve the monarchy. I have seen for yourself the storm of turmoil that howls through our streets. The government fails in its responsibilities, and my subjects suffer the consequences of our incompetence. But I will see them suffer no longer. The Victory Feast shall provide the stage on which I declare the dissolution of the Sultanate. It is mine intent that the ruling class of our golden city should take its place beside the common man in a fair and equitable republic. No more shall this nation bow to the whims of a privileged few. Yet, that which I propose will entail the tearing up of this city's very foundations. And even Roban, with all his strength and influence, will be hard-pressed to keep his footing on such treacherous ground. Thus would I ask you to lend him a steadying hand. You who have endured the wrath of innumerable foes are the one hero in whom I can place my trust. Will you do this thing for me?
I am truly grateful. More grateful than I can well express. Much of my dread for the coming days has been quieted. Her grace, the Sultana, is dead. A poison in her wine? You! You did this! your denials. I see no other suspects, and the room has but the one entrance. I hereby accuse you of a regicide. Men, arrest this viper. Sir, barring a few exceptions, we have detained all those with allegiance to the Scions. The Rising Stones is also under our control. And what do you hope to achieve with this mutiny? Why, that which we have striven for all along, Commander. The salvation of Eorzea. the meaning of this. Knights from the homeland? This cannot bode well. Lord Commander, we have received an urgent message from the Holy See. I am grieved to report that your serpentine foes have resumed their assault. Needless to say, your presence is urgently required. These knights have come to bear you swiftly home to Ishgard. A surprise attack. We've had no such word from our men, and the timing is most fortuitous to catch us away from the city. Most fortuitous indeed. Lord Commander, we must away!
You have been a most gracious host. I hope that I might one day return the favor. Come, Lucia. What is going on in there? Ah, the ever-dutiful brass blades. I must apologize, but my dance card is rather full. Another time, perhaps? Thancred, of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. You stand accused of committing acts of espionage in service to the Gallian Empire. Espionage? What in the seven hells are you talking about? Ah, if you're referring to that business with the Ultima weapon, then you must understand. I, I wasn't myself. Under interrogation, an Imperial prisoner revealed your involvement in numerous dealings with the enemy. We've also been investigating reports that you are a practitioner of forbidden arts. You best come along with us. You invite... Come then. I believe I've lost my appetite for this farce of a celebration. Too far, Lord Adelegi. By what right do you march armed soldiers into a royal banquet and eject state visitors without her grace's consent? You treat the brass blades as your personal army and show contempt for the throne with your every act. Leave us. Now. Is that an order, General? Mayhap you have mistaken me for one of your flames. You will find I am not so slavishly obedient. <laughs> As you lecture me on personal armies! As for your outrageous claim that I have shown contempt for the throne, let all here observe that it was not I who feasted while an assassin removed its occupant. I expect this is your idea of defending the nation, is it? This and diluting our forces through these distractions in Cartano and Curthus. I do begin to see how the ranks of the immortal flames came to be riddled with Garlean sympathizers. You are plainly unfit for command. Wait. Wait, gods damn you. Your words make no sense. What assassin? <gasps> You mean to say you don't know? We caught the vaunted champion of the Scions in Her Grace's private chambers, not moments after the deed was done. No! No, this cannot be! Save your breath! You will need it to plead your case. You and your entire order are to be tried for this atrocity. Bring in the prisoner! This man stands accused of poisoning Her Royal Majesty Nanamo Ul Namo, and his suspected accessories to the crime 
All members of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn will be detained for questioning. This is madness! What a pity. Who'd have thought your tale would end like this? Should you demand further proof, a vial with traces of the substance used to poison her grace was found upon the assassin's person. <laughs> How very convenient. You would speak of convenience? Who persuaded her grace to host this celebration? A diversion which presented you and your confederates ample opportunity to commit the crime, and a crowd within which to fade from view! A more convenient occasion I could scarcely imagine. How dare you! After all we have done for Uldar! Hold your tongue, witch! I'll not be ensorcelled! I know all about the dark gift that you and your disciples wield. Oh yes, I've observed how you worked upon the minds of the Alliance leaders, bending them to your will. And what of your cordial relationship with Sir Emmerich? For years, Ishgard abjured all contact with the outside world, and now the Lord Commander of the Temple Knights treats you with the familiarity of a childhood friend. I'll tell you what I think. I think this desperate defense of Ishgard was but a ruse to deceive us into dividing our forces. Your next move will be to charm your Curthen allies into invading our lands! Now that is truly ridiculous! How do you even think of this stuff? She... she cannot be dead. Stand aside, Ilbert. I want to see the Sultana. Spare yourself the pain, brother. I saw her with my own eyes. For a mercy, the poison took her swiftly. Her handmaiden can attest to that. This cannot be. Nanamo. Nanamo. No! Plainly, the Royalists can no longer be relied upon to keep our nation safe. And so it falls to the monetarists of the Syndicate to govern Uldar. But should you wish to help us, General, we would be more than happy to entrust the task of planning Her Grace's funeral to you. It seems only right that you should bury your precious Sultana, and we will be glad to be rid of that burden. I'll bet you will. You more than any man. Whatever do you mean? I mean you had her killed, you black-hearted bastard! <laughs> what rot! <laughs> Though I did have sufficient motive, it is true. That young lady caused me no end of grief. She always was a most unwilling puppet. I dare say her grace was grateful that someone thought to cut her strings. You would mock her, then mock her from hell! What?
Have you lost your mind, General? It is forbidden to draw steel in the royal chambers, much less slaughter our fellow syndicate members. <gasps> You're one of them! You've been in league with the Scions all along! You! You're next, you scheming bastard! Admiral, we must leave. Ah. How unlike you, old friend. I did not expect to take your arm so easily. Take the Scions into custody. They have conspired to commit regicide. And arrest this traitor as well. Ilbert, I hope you choke on their coin. It's better than the dirt I've supped on these long years. We can't all abandon Alamigo and become great war heroes as you have. You are not the man you once were, Raban. Since that girl strapped the yoke around your neck, you've become docile. She took the mad bull and cut off his balls, and a bull that cannot rot is fit for naught but slaughter. Shall I tell you who really killed your precious Sultana? It was me. You... You die! Doubted you, not for a moment. But there is more to this than I yet understand. Flee this place. Clear your names. Find out who is behind this plot. It is the only way. Now go! There you are. Sancred! Where have you been?
avoiding the fumbling advances of some very persistent admirers. When I realized the celebrations had turned sour, it seemed prudent to slip away and take stock of the situation. T'would appear that much of the city is already under tight guard. It occurs to me that expanding the Brass Blade's authority may not have been such a wonderful idea after all. The success of this plan was contingent upon those thugs having the run of the place. Just how long has this scheme been in motion? The careful preparations, the maneuvering of forces. I am inclined to agree with the General's insistence that a deeper plot exists here. So, would I be right in thinking we now have an excuse to pummel as many brass blades as we like? Unless you plan on pummeling them all, I'm not sure that will greatly aid our cause. The Sultana's assassination was but one part of the scheme. We too were its targets. And though we did not share Pornonimo's fate, we are yet hobbled by the charges laid at our door. Where now might we seek refuge? Where indeed, we may safely assume that our foe has thought to have the Rising Stones watched. Forgive me for stating the obvious, but our choice of destination will matter little if we cannot secure an escape route out of Ulda. Happily, I believe I can provide one. Papashan once told me about the passages hidden in the walls of the palace. If I recall correctly, the fireplace in Anima's chambers conceals the entrance to a tunnel. It should lead outside the city, and allow us to avoid any messy confrontations. The rest of you, go on ahead. I'll handle this lot. By yourself? Oh, I suppose I shall just have to join you. Crystal Braves too, huh? Now this should be interesting. Ida! Papalimo! We will hold our pursuers here. Hurry, now! Find this tunnel of Thancreds! Minfilia, we cannot linger! Look what you've done! Ida, are you all right? There are just too many of them! I'm fine. I could do this all day. How about you? Nearing the end of my tether. We're the Scions of the Seventh Dawn! The ones who stand between this realm and the evil that's trying to destroy it! 
And if you think we'll leave the stewardship of Eorzea to the likes of your masters, then you're solely mistaken! Sorry I dragged you into this, Popolin. <laughs> Tis hardly the first time, and I'll be damned if it will be the last. I never knew such a watercourse existed beneath Uldar. The architecture is of the Sildene style, if I'm not mistaken. The ancients plainly foresaw the need for a ready means of escape. This way! Well, that didn't take long. It seems these tunnels were not as secret as I'd hoped. You two, go on ahead. Thancred and I will deal with this. What? What do you mean to do? Only that which is required to ensure that the dawn's light survive to brighten the morrow. Fear not, antecedent. You haven't seen the last of these fair features. My friends... Leave us! What is the plan, milady? Shall I take the dozen on the left and you the dozen on the right? The odds are not exactly stacked in our favor. Numbers will count for little when I bring the tunnel down upon their heads. Though I cannot say I relish the thought of being entombed with you for all eternity. You wound me. I will have you know that many a maid would kill for the chance to spend forever at my side. Now, may I have the last dance? Going splendidly. Now would be a good time, milady. Tis done. Forgive me, Mitra.
Gwendolyn, she... she speaks to me. No! I must remain behind, but you cannot stay with me. Please, you must go on. You are the warrior of light. You are hope for the Scions and for all the realm. As long as your flame continues to burn, the light of the dawn may ever be relit. You must escape and save Eorzea from those who would plunge it into darkness. Tis the only way. I am glad to see you safe, my friend. What of the others? Damn that man! Taleji played me for a fool! I thought the Crystal Brave's mine till the very moment I felt the blade at my back. There will be ample time for soul searching later. For now, we must put some moms between us and Uldar. Would you look who it is? Need a ride? I doubt it'll be half as exciting as the last trip we took. Not if I have anything to say about it anyway. Let's not dawdle, eh? All aboard! Supplies over in Vesper Bay, you see, when your sister come up and begged a favor. Said her brother was having some trouble down in Uldar and likely needed a helping hand getting away. But thinking them ruins would make a fine hiding place, I decided to try there first. And lo and behold, there you were. Aye, and judging by them soldiers as were pouring out of the city, I arrived not a moment too soon. Must have been fate that we happened to find you there, though, eh? I had thought to look out for Alize, but what appears she was the one watching over me. I've made such a... And who might you be, young sir?
Pippin Taropin, Vice Marshal of the Immortal Flames. I had been on the Alamegan front these past few moons, but an urgent communication called me back to Uldar. Scarce had my boots touched the cobbles, though, when the streets erupted with cries of assassination. I immediately went in search of answers, and came across Master Alfino here. Needless to say, I did not think his imprisonment justified. The blame plainly lies with the Monetarists. Their greed and corruption are well known to me, but for them to take advantage of the situation with such alacrity... Was that Pippin, you said? Ain't that the name of General Alden's lad? Yes, I am his son. Adopted, of course. It was only as we were leaving Uldar that I learned of Father's fate. Once I have seen you a safe distance away, I mean to return to the city and extricate him from this madness. Then you needn't travel no further than Blackbrush. Our fugitives have a friend waiting for them there. I dreamed of bringing about Eorzea's salvation, but in the end, it was I who needed saving. <laughs>